Hey guys, Will here, Flawless Exotic Creations, checking in. Yep, another unboxing. Um, it's gonna be a double dose on this one though. Um, we ordered two from the same uh, seller. So, exciting. This is gonna be pushing for one of these this year's projects, actually two of this year's projects. So we're gonna work these are a heavy, heavy, heavy box um, for when it comes to snakes. And um, this is gonna be two in here, so. Ordered this from, I believe it's Curtis over, Curtis or Nicholas over at Mythical Exotics. Um, I'm assuming, like I said, they're probably stepping up either their collection or just letting go some of their breeder size females. So there's gonna be two females in this one. Christmas guys. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Yep. Hey guys, if you guys aren't subscribed to our channel, man, I don't know what you guys are waiting for. Um, we're planning to blow this thing up. We're having fun. Um, we're ecstatic about all the involvement in the comment section. Keep commenting. Tell us your insight on what we're doing. Um, we're still learning on a lot of different levels, man. Y'all need to subscribe and join us on this ride, man. This is really, really fun. So, <clears throat> did a video a while back on gene stacking and our plans and expectations on what we're working with and what we're trying to do. Um, that being said, these videos that you've mostly been seeing with all these unboxings and knew this and knew that is basically us putting into play our plan, our stepping stones, our execution. So we're kind of just giving it to you on camera. Um, and hopefully you guys, if you guys are on the fence about not even just snakes or any type of projects or businesses, um, that you've been looking into, maybe you'll jump off that fence and, and shoot for the stars. Well, how's it go? Shoot for the moon, land amongst the stars. So this is a 1800 gram single gene clown girl. Uh, I see the messages you guys are asking on prices on some of this stuff, um, but I did a video explaining um, budgeting and where things fit in your budget and if your budget is adjustable uh, and your goals and aspirations for what you're trying to do with certain projects that you're working with um, there's a lot of groundbreaking stuff happening clown isn't just a groundbreaking project I mean it's a single gene clown female but what we found is is a staple of everything we've seen and she's browned out but again she's a breeder size female Recessive visual clown girl, 1800 grams. We're gonna get her in the quarantine here up at the house before we take her to the vault and put her in the facility. Um, this female right here was a thousand dollars. Yeah, 1800 gram clown female for a thousand dollars. So, um, not sure where we're putting her. And you say, hey, if you're planning, how come you're not sure? Well, we are planning, but on our needs list for clowns or pies, we have several, we need several females in both of those groups for several different males um, in those groups. So we can do, um, especially with, with her, I can take her to a Freedom Breeder Male, which is our Coral Glow Pod 100% Head Clown and um, pop out hopefully uh, clowns uh, or cor coral glow clowns that are 100% head pie, uh, which will be awesome to hold back, to go back to that male. So that's an awesome project to work her into. Um, but don't forget, we also have our uh, stranger double head clown puzzle male can throw her into that project. So that's why I said any one of those uh, males, I'm sure I, we have other males too, you know, you need three or four different females. Uh, not saying that every one of them is gonna go, but you wanna increase your odds on your breeding season. So this is for a here and now project. 
And then from the same person, like I said, this is gonna be almost to size. She's right, 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 right there. Um, but again, worked her in the budget and she was in the planning. This is gonna be a single gene pod girl, okay? This girl is 1,300 grams, 1,350 grams. So another pod girl because we have about three or four different pod combo super how powerhouse males wow she's a awesome display too look at that belly so 1350 gram pod girl and she was a thousand dollars so you're talking about basically $2,000 shipped on two pretty much ready to breed single gene recessive females. Um, yeah, you can't pass that up. So, what I would advise everyone, you know, work on your nest eggs, work on what you're putting into your business, and then um, follow through, work on your follow through. Um, we jump on things because we need them and they're part of the plan. So, somewhere down the line, we're going to tie these guys in relatively sooner rather than later for these and produce hopefully some powerhouse combo recessive hats that's going to work into our program they'll hatch out this year hopefully knock on wood and work them into our program two and three years from now and then <clears throat> the ones that we're growing out now work them into our program you know next year or two and it's like a process you just stepping that game up and guess what you guys are gonna be along for the ride the entire time so it's really exciting um, and we plan on bringing you guys plenty more content um, we're taking a different look at doing videos on both here as well as far as Chris the Gecko's channel I watched a video the other day just giving you guys some insight um, most people struggle which we struggle as well with uh, reach you know being able to put content out there and reach the dif different um, people different walks of life we want to be able to put out good content consistent content and high level uh, high quality content but also um, we look at the self-evaluation of, of the content and for me I'm happy with all of it um, something I watched a video the other day and it put it, everything into perspective for me you know do i want to get in front of the camera all the time is it nerve-wracking it can be but you gotta look at what's your end game um i don't mind being on the spotlight you know i don't mind you know being under pressure but something about these videos you know i watched this video the other day and it basically said that you know you got to put yourself out there not only just for you but it's for your legacy you know 50 well hopefully not 50 but a hundred years from now, 80 years from now, when, you know, I'm dead and gone, maybe we can leave these businesses to our children. But guess what? Our children are going to have children. Their children are going to have children. And they're going to want to know what was the walk of life of their lineage, of their grandparents. And guess what? What's the best way other than to get in front of a camera? Give, give your children a visual, something they can go back and say, Dad. You know, my parents, you know, worked hard to get us to where we are and let's continue that run. But it also just gives them perspective. I can remember a lot of stories about uncles and aunts that I have no pictures of that I've seen maybe two or three times in my lifetime and have no recollection on remembering them, you know. So this is nice. So if even no one watches it, it's cool. It's something like a safe haven for you and your family. So if you're on the fence about starting a channel, do it. I tell my sons the same thing about their YouTube gaming channels. You got to do it because it's for you. Because you never know when it's going to catch on, whether it's a year or two years from now, and then people are going to start binge watching your videos and slowly go down that rabbit hole. But it's Will, Flawless Exotic Creations. We out.